Hey y'all, thanks for stopping by. If this is the first time we've met, I am Beach Bum and Dad. This channel is all about sharing life's adventures in paradise. Today, I'm going to show you two different tools that I use for shelling, and this is not necessarily a versus because I use them both just for different reasons and in different situations. Rather, this is to show you how they're used, when they're used, and for you to make the decision whether or not you'll get both, that's what I would recommend, or you're just going to use one. Don't forget, check out some of those videos showing up in the upper corner and be sure to hit that subscribe button and then that bell then you'll become part of the beach woman family all right let's get after it So these are the two primary tools people use to shell. Some use a little garden hand rakes, but these are the two main ones. So you'll see the sand dipper is a little bit smaller and the sand flea rake is a little bit larger, has different type of hand grip. Let me grab the sand dipper and we'll go over the use of that one. So the first one we'll look at is the sand dipper. And you'll see it has a, a nice grip, has a strap. You can put your hand through, hold on to it. In case you happen to drop it. And then it, it's adjustable, it has these clips here. You can move it up and down and of course that all depends upon how tall you are. Maybe even if you want to extend out into the water, I keep mine pretty short. I use it primarily for walking. And then it also has a little basket here. So there you have it. That's the sand dipper. All right, the second one that we'll look at today is the sand flea rake. Now this is predominantly a, a tool for fishermen to use the fine sand fleas. Shellers have realized that with this large basket here, you can scoop up quite a few shells. So it has a, a gripper up here. This one can be moved around when it's wet. Right now it's dry and, and stuck right there. But you would want to hold it like this and then rake it towards you. I would caution you though that since this is metal, these corners are very sharp and can easily nick your foot or your leg or even worse, maybe a cut or a gash. So let me go out in the water and I'll show you how to use it. So first off with the sand flea rake, you want to find an area that has shells when you find a nice shell pack, that would be the place you want to start. If you don't find shells like we're seeing here, then you can always go to right at the break and just scoop. So 
scoop right at the brake and you might get more sand right there, but that would be the, the place to start. So one of those two spots, either like you have here with a lot of shells already, doesn't take much effort to scoop, or down here at the brake. Or, there you go, see, it actually gets deeper in there. So, Okay, so you have the scooping method, or let's get this one right away. Let's see, the waves will, see that, how they pull the shells in? Or you can use that method. And then you simply dump them out and see what you have. farther out you go, the larger the shells, you can see right here, more finer shells. So again, you come up here, dump it, you see what you have. Spiny jewel box in there. Let's go try one more. Go up right at the parade and I'll just scoop. See how that wave was? That's what I'm talking about. That's what can push the sand flea right into your leg or your foot. So the big thing with the sand dipper is that while you can scoop in the water, what you can with the sand flea rake, it's primarily a tool to use on the beach. save your back. There you go. Kitten's paw. Excellent tool to use. Look at that scale. This is an excellent tool to use when you don't want your sandable stoop to become permanent. Come down here, rinse it off, or lose it. Just rinse it off. Grab it and throw it in your pocket.
strong and put it in your pocket. Well, there you have it, folks. You have the sand dipper, which is primarily a beach tool, and then the sand flea rake, which is primarily used for dipping in the water. Again, it's not a versus situation. It's do I purchase both or do I just get one? Am I primarily a beach walker or do I enjoy getting a little wet, even if the water is cold? You can probably purchase both online and sometimes retailers have them. I get my sand flea rakes locally at the store. If you have any further questions, just place a message down below in the comment section and I'll get back to you. Thanks again for tuning in. I hope this was informative. Please remember to hit like, hit that subscribe button to stay in contact and the notification bell so you know when Beach Bum and Dad uploads another video. Thanks for watching and I'll see y'all back out on the beach. Welcome to what's in your shell bag, Beach Bum and Dad. The subscriber's favorite part. All different kinds today. Of course everyone knows I'm down here in Sanibel. I love orange. So I try and get as many orange colored shells. Everyone knows I love the orange. So I try to get as many orange shells as I can. Lots of colorful shells today. So there you have it. Got a sunburst. Love that stripe on there. You rinse these off, put them in some bleach water, and then wipe them with some oil and it shines it right up. Thank you all for watching. See you back out on the beach.